You're listening to the Ask BP podcast. Today's question is when is it smart to refinance a property and how will it affect my credit? Stay tuned. You're listening to another Bigger Pockets Ask BP podcast, where you'll hear short, direct answers to your biggest real estate questions. Submit your question today on Facebook, Twitter, or the Bigger Pockets forums by using hashtag AskBP. And don't forget to pick up your copy of the Ultimate Beginner's Guide to Real Estate Investing and other great content when you sign up for your free account at biggerpockets.com. With that, let's get to the show. Today's question comes from Justin in Warner Robins, Georgia, and he asks, can you tell me when it's smart to refinance a property and how will it affect my credit? When mortgage rates were dropping, I refinance my mortgage every single year. It just made financial sense. The, the rate drop was so significant that it more than made up for the closing costs that I had to pay when I refi my, my mortgage. So first, I would recommend calling a few lenders and brokers and getting a rate quote. Compare rates and closing costs and see if it makes financial sense. A quarter of a point drop probably isn't enough to refinance your mortgage. An entire point, run as fast as you can to get there. So let's get to Justin's second question, how will it affect my credit score? When you take one mortgage and you pay it off and you open up another mortgage, that, that's apples to apples. It shouldn't affect your credit score in the short term or the long term. You're simply getting a better rate. The inquiry on your credit can affect your score about five points or so. It's not a big deal. Anytime you apply for credit, there's an inquiry on your report that stays for about two years. When you're getting multiple mortgage quotes in a short amount of time, those actually get lumped together into one inquiry. They just consider you shopping around for rates. A bigger problem is when you get multiple credit cards opened and each one of those credit cards is an inquiry into your mortgage. The more credit you have open, the more risk you look to a lender. But let's get back to the topic. How will this affect your credit score? If you're taking one mortgage and paying it off with another mortgage, like I said, that's not going to affect your score too much. If you're getting a cash out refinance, what you're doing is you're taking your existing mortgage and you're adding to it by taking cash out of the equity in your home. This increases your credit utilization, which lowers your rate. The more debt you have, the higher your perceived risk is to potential creditors. That wraps up this episode of the Ask BP podcast and brings us to today's success quote, which comes from Ayn Rand, who says, the question isn't who's going to let me, it's who's going to stop me. Remember, in pursuit of your goals, don't just learn, but take action. For Bigger Pockets, this is Mindy Jensen signing off. You've just heard another episode of the Bigger Pockets Ask BP podcast. Submit your question today on Facebook, Twitter, or the Bigger Pockets forum by using hashtag AskBP. And for more incredible real estate investing tools and education, including a free download of our book, The Ultimate Beginner's Guide to Real Estate Investing, head over to biggerpockets.com and sign up for your free account today. We'll see you on the next show.